Hello everyone, Tanya here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are making a Disney, a Minnie Mouse Easter basket. But we're not going to use a basket. I'll show you what we're going to use in just a little bit. But let me first show you some of the supplies we'll be using or some of the gifts we'll be using. First, I'm going to put some like techie items. This is for probably... Uh, a young someone probably 10 under 10 I'm not sure what age but you know all the kids nowadays you know have like electronic stuff so this is a case for your earbuds um, I got one earbud here and a stylus pen and a case we're gonna be putting that into it uh, we have a Minnie Mouse flower prowler book which I love flowers. I do floral arrangements and this is a good way to introduce uh, flowers to a young one that may not have uh, been exposed to what's going on with flowers. And uh, I've got some peeps. Got some Bear Grahams cookies. These are good. <laughs> the chocolatey chips. These are good, man. These are addicting. i got some mermaid gummies. Oh, well, these are fruit snacks. Got our cute little fuzzy friends here, the little bunny. I got a Disney princess jump rope. I'm going to adorn the basket with uh, one of my posh bows. And I got uh, a cello bag here, a gift bag. I have some tape and Let's see, hang on just a minute. And we have the bag here. This is our Disney gift bag. I have some items in it already. So here is the gift bag. And I already put the LOL. They're going to have some LOL cereal. So that's going to be the, the main attraction here. And then on the side here we have a paddle ball, like a batten ball, which I said in my other video, I love these. These are like, I needed, oh, I needed one every year when I was growing up as a kid. You know, you hit those things up. I love doing that. To this day, I still love doing that. Okay, in the back here, to give this, in the back of there is a cookie design kit. And there's this Minnie Mouse paint and display. It has a paint kit. I already have it. I have it taped in here already. So let's see if you can see it. This is the best box I have see this and it has some little paints down in there in the whole packet here's the paddle ball then we got our little chocolate bunny in there and then there's also a Mickey a jumbo Mickey and friends um, coloring and activity book that's in the back you see the back So these can be tricky. I like using bags. So this, you know, I already. Oh yeah, let, I can show you everything. Kind of doing this impromptu. I was working on it, and I said, "Let me turn the camera on." So I see this Easter cookie decorating kit. So it's a gift, and it also provided good stability. Here is that paint activity set. And the way you bring gift stability to these bags is to like find a box that you have. This is a box I received something in. And this is the best one that I have. The other ones are too tall, so you put a box in there to give it stability. 
Then I have some tissue paper on the sides. It wasn't quite wide enough, which is fine. And then just, just like you would do a gift basket, put your tissue down, your tissue paper. I cover my box up with tissue paper. Let me see, I got tissue over here. using gift bags because they're already decorated um, they're reusable so I'm just going to make it neat and in there cover up that box okay so that's what I did there and I'm putting some shred in here just like I would if I was using a basket or a box it is a box See how that's really neat? And I like to do my videos. I'm in the kitchen, guys, because this is where we have the best lighting. Okay, so there. So then I already taped the main items together. Now, my tallest item is the cereal. See, I love the graphic designers that like do all of these are just awesome. Like the LOL brand, and how they how they uh, create these graphics and stuff. It's just so cute. So I wanna that oh, I'm gonna have to take this apart. Let's see how we're gonna do this. This is real life gift basket designing, guys. You know, it takes a lot to make sure you have your, your items balanced and you work it in a limited space. That's like with any other design. You have to work with, within the space that you have. You want to get the most out of the space that you have. have it all together and turn on the camera and it's not all together but that's okay both of the books to show so let's see how can I okay we're gonna put this in there be a 360 type of because I want them to be able to see stuff all the way around
I'm going to put the tech items in the back. fuzzy friend in here. I'll put our peeps over here. So we need to get some structure. So I got some of my structural stronger items on the side here. the graphics there. selling these guys. I'm not selling Easter baskets. I just want to share with you what I'm doing with Easter baskets that I'm that I am doing. And I got all of the cutest items that I found on that given day. something like that. what we're going with right now. If I make any changes, they'll be pretty minor. So that's how it is in the front. And that's how it is in the back. But we have our earbuds, our stylus pen. 
and uh, the case we got our cookie decorating set we have our cookies back here a lot going on in the back then we got our jump rope got our paddle ball and then we got our little fuzzy friend and over here we got our peeps our mermaid and our little paint display we have our books and we have cereal in here and that is good that's what I want I really um, I really like the graphics here so I really didn't want to uh, you know I want everything to be shown but I you know this is the art that I really want to focus on and the bag so let's put this tag in here and that's what designers do. We look at it. We uh, check things out. What are the mediums we work, we're work? we working with? What do I want our focal point to be? And everything else is supporting that focal point. What is our theme? Minnie Mouse. Disney. Easter. That's our theme. We have a color scheme. We have our pinks and our greens and our pastel colors and what I like to do for gift baskets like for kids I like to have a book you know you have an activity book you have something you can learn from I like to have like a physical activity so here they got a jump rope they have a paddle and ball here you got a little chocolate you can have a fuzzy friend you have something you know cuddly decor and also have like an art project so and then they also also have another like activity here with the cookie and then nowadays you know all kids have their technology so you have a tech item so I think this can uh, satisfy a child for Easter you know, for quite a while for more than a few days and the you know a lot of people just think Easter is just about giving out bunnies and stuff like that you know it is it's a celebration of the resurrection and I think it's good to let the kids know we're giving you these things because we're celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior it's about Jesus so that's what you know all these celebrations are about it's just not about I'm just giving you stuff you know there's a reason why we're giving you stuff okay okay so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this book down I want as much to be shown, but since I'm not selling these, I'm going to just stick that here. So that's good enough. I'll be able to close that bag, this bag.
Now, this would have probably done better if I got a cello roll and I would have been able to choose the size that I wanted. But for commercial use, yes, I would have done that. But this is for a gift. Cute and fun. You know, I'm not charging the one, two, and three hundred dollars. Well, this is just uh, just showing your showing someone you're thinking about them. And you celebrating the resurrection. Just all, you know, springtime is when, you know, the earth replenishes itself and blooms and blossoms. So all of that stuff just kind of came together. And that's when the bunnies, you know, would reproduce. And there's just so much during the springtime. That is reborn. And that's how you know we celebrate it today, just like the we you know springtime. God. So I'm going to give it one more try. I won't be able to gather enough. I can bring this. I can bring these books down. That's the only thing that's uh, stopping me from closing. someone at one time it was like you know you putting all that all this religious stuff in an Easter basket I was like uh, if you celebrate Easter it is a religious holiday excuse me you know if you don't want religious stuff but you see in the stores they very seldom will sell a lot of religious stuff you know it's all about the bunnies and the Peeps and the chicks and all that stuff. I mean, you'll get some stuff, but you know, it's not about that. These things are cute. It's a good way to uh, you know, help kids understand and get involved.
and out of tape. running out of running out of memory you would do something like this and then just uh, put your bow on there put your bow on top let me get some more tape we'll finish it off like that If you run across this problem, you won't have to have things as tall as I did. I wanted things tall. I wanted all these different books to be shown. tight posh bow and I'm just fluffing it out fluff fluff and just make a bow that you know that appeals to you this is what I like. I like my bowls to look like this for gift baskets. I like it to accentuate and be like jewelry on the gift basket, but not overpower. Not overpower the gift basket. sell these and uh, like if someone's looking at it at your table just tell them that this is a 360 a 360 gift okay so let me clear up clean up my mess here put together gift baskets is it can be strenuous too. You know, you have to really think, you have to think of scale and balance and color and all of that stuff. And it's, it's work. Okay, so you guys see what's going on here. So here's the entire basket. I like it.
Okay, family, thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for building my Mickey, my Minnie Mouse Easter basket, Easter bag today. And if you like my vibe, hit subscribe, join the tribe, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload any new content. And if I didn't say hello, I want to say hello to all of my subscribers and a special welcome to all of my new subscribers. I appreciate, it. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, Mom.